Hi, welcome to Clock Shop. My name's Daniel. And today I just wanted to run you through, maybe you're changing your hands from an old cuckoo clock, or you find that your hands are out of position. So it's not calling the right time, or it's not calling on the hour or the half hour. So what we've done here, I've just set this one up. Now it should call 11 for 11 o'clock. What you might find is the hand is slightly out of position. So as we turn it around, it's actually calling one at 10 past 11, it's completely out. So at this stage, I don't know whether that's the half hour or the hour call. So what I'm gonna go, let's go around half an hour. So we have another one, so that could be, we could have had one o'clock before, which is correct. So now we're at two o'clock. So the hand should be showing us two o'clock and they're completely out. So what's important to do now is stop the clock from running. And that's going to mean that this hand will stop moving. Now we want to be fairly accurate to get it to line up with the 12 position. So I'm going to go around to the next hour again and stop precisely when the, when the clock starts to call. So we'll go to the half hour. And then it was somewhere here near the 10 pass. We'll go very slowly and that's where it's calling. So we should be on three o'clock. So you'll need a pair of pliers generally. Sometimes they're just thumb tight. Now my preference is to use something that's got a nice blunt end on it. I can get good purchase on that little hand nut. If you've got pointy nose pliers, that's okay too, but you probably want to use them as flat as possible, just so you don't slip off and do any damage to your dial or your hands, break them. These ones make it a little bit easier. Now we want to hold the minute hand in that position. We don't want it to move when we loosen the little hand nut on the front. So you just can loosen it. Again, holding the minute hand, and we want to take the nut loose enough so that this can move freely without actually moving the gearing inside the clock. So we're actually at the o'clock position. If you can recall, it's at three o'clock, should be at three o'clock. So we'll move the minute hand and line it up with the 12 position. Get my head in front of it so we can see that it's lined up. So now if I move, so I've just gone finger tight for now until we get in the right position. Now if I slowly move it, hopefully we're lined up at the six. And we have four calls. So now we need the hour hand to line up with the four position. So the hour hand is on a tapered shaft, has a brass collar in the center of this wooden hand to stop the wooden hand splitting. You may find you've got plastic hands on an older cuckoo clock. It's the same process, it just doesn't need that little brass collar inside the hand. Either way, as the hand goes back towards the dial, that's a tapered shaft, so it's getting larger and it will tighten up just a friction fit. So we can wriggle that forward and you'll see it'll just fall down. Now we need to line it up with the four because we're at four o'clock. And then just use our nails carefully in behind to push that hand back on that tapered shaft and make sure it's nice and tight so now it's not going to move. And that's how you set your cuckoo clock hands back in the correct position. So now I'd like to run through how to install hands on the cuckoo clock. So you may have an old clock that you've inherited and doesn't have any hands or the hands are broken. So we're going to start with no hands on the cuckoo clock just to give you the sequence of how the hands. So there's a couple of different types as well. Most of the old clocks actually have plastic hands or sometimes really old clocks will have bone hands. So we have a minute hand and the hour hand, obviously shorter. Now the hour hand always goes on first. These are plastic hands. So there's one difference with the plastic hands and the hour hand doesn't have a brass bush inside the hand. Now this is required for the timber hands simply because if we push that hand on it will split the timber. So what the brass bush is doing is preventing the timber hand from actually splitting and, and being, being useless. So we always start with the hour hand. So the hour hand just pushes on to a tapered shaft. So that shaft's getting bigger as it goes in. It's a, if you exaggerate, a conical shape. So as you push it on, it gets tight onto the shaft. So whether it's a plastic hand, like that one that I've put on, or a timber hand with the brass bush, they'll both just push on. Now from there, we need to actually use a little square hold brass bush. And that is, so your minute shaft comes out from here, and this is what's going to drive the minute hand. So it's got to line up, so it has a square hole on the inside of this little brass bush, 
and that has to line up with the square hole and we push it on. And from here, again, whether it's the, the plastic or the wooden hand, wooden hand doesn't need the brass inside because this acts as the, the brass collar that will sit inside. That one actually just sits over the top of this. So it has a, a recess that sits inside the hole and that actually actually sits over the top of, of that little recess. But then we need a washer and a nut to hold it in position. So the plastic hand has a flat washer. The timber hands have a cupped washer that goes in front. So I'll put the, the flat washer on. So we're going to, I just need to hold these in position because it's sitting up. It's much easier if you're actually doing it, laying it on its back. And then we put the little nut on the very end that holds it all tight. So initially we'll just screw it up thumb tight because then we actually have to go through and align our hands which is what I showed you previously. Thanks for watching our video today about how to either adjust your hands or fit some new hands to your cuckoo clock. Remembering that we've got a full range of, of parts including timber hands, wooden hands, plastic hands, we've got white plastic to match some of your earlier clocks or ivory coloured plastic hands. We can even organise bone hands to be carved. So if you need any further assistance, drop us a comment down below or see our full range at clockshop.com.au.